So here I have this Mac Pro server, a five comma one. And in this thing, I put four SSDs. And here I've booted up with High Sierra Recovery Manager and gotten into the High Sierra disk utility. So this disk utility, of course, has the APFS options. And so what I'm trying to do now is there's also a new RAID utility in here. So I'm trying to make these drives. I'm going to use three SSDs to make a RAID here. And this Patriot Spark SSD is what I boot from. So I'm not going to mess with that. So to create these things, to put these things on APFS, first of all, I have to unmount them. And so let's do that. That one's unmounted, so now we can do a partition on this thing. And make it APFS. Apply it. Whoops, I want to call it something here. I'm gonna call it disk two. Here we go. Apply it. Partition it. So that's now disk two. I'll do the same thing with this one here. Make sure it's unmounted. Unmount it. There, now it's unmounted. Now I can do a partition on it. I call it disk three, APFS. Whoops, nope, don't want that. APFS disk three. Here we go. Partition it. So I assume there's a file system on these things then. Disk one, disk two, disk one, disk two, disk three. Now the new part of disk utility here, which is pretty groovy, pretty hip, pretty cool, is the RAID assistant which you wouldn't see in the old disk utility. Even on Sierra, this did not exist. So when I saw this here messing around, I thought, whoa, how cool could this be? So I want to do some processing of some MOVs, move fi movie files, and some pictures. So I want the fastest thing I can get, and the fastest storage is RAID 0. You, you don't really want to trust RAID 0 with data, but if we're doing temporary rendering, it might be great. So I'm going to do RAID 0. And now we can figure out what disks to use. Well, I can't use this one, so I boot drive. Use this one. So I'm a little confused here. These are the actual physical drives. I'm going to think I want to connect these, that, that, and that, and see how it goes. Let's see what happens here. I've never tried this. This is unscripted. Okay, so chunk size. I guess the bigger my chunk size, probably the better the throughput. I'll take this default chunk size and format. Look at that. So I can't make a raid. I can't make a raid that way using APFS. Isn't that something? What if I go previous now and I say, let's take this and this and this. Could I go APFS this way? Next. can't. So I'm not sure what difference there is in what I select. I'm going to do these three as I had before. Next. What do I call this thing? I'm going to call it uh, RAID 0. RAID 0 disks. What a great name, right? 
Okay, what happens now? Next. Create the RAID set, RAID 0 disks, delete all data stored, cannot be undone. So I'm wondering where this thing stores this, this, this configuration. Is it going to be in the new firmware in this box? Bad partition or no map found. Can't update the booter. Okay, well I don't really want a booter. Oh, interesting. So it, it failed. And then I got stuck here. So. And I can't go done. Well, that's not much fun. So thanks for watching the video and have a great day.